Planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheets. Well, hello, Planner Babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. I publish one to two recorded videos per week on planning, junk journaling, craft room organization, and related shopping hauls. I also post an additional live video most weeks. And I want to thank all my Patreon members who helped make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on patreon just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic welcome to my 2023 craft room tour planner babes i am so excited to show you remember this whole very long room the rest of it is all behind me used to be my craft room that then my parents moved in with us um, my dad has parkinson's and so i took just half of this room for my craft room and it has taken me about a year to get everything over onto this one side and then i have a little bit right here and yeah so we're going to go ahead and take a look at everything one little section at a time. So these kind of dividers that I put up that you see hanging here are one of the things that I did to try to help separate this section from the other part of the room. And also the other thing I did was this rug, which I got from Ikea that also set the room or distinguished the room as being its or this area as being its own space. And so I just took some panels that I already had that I bought at Goodwill a long time ago. They were just being used in other areas and I just tacked them up with really small nails that and I've pulled some out before. They don't leave any noticeable holes. And then I just use some Dollar Tree ribbon to tie them off. And then whenever I really need to have some privacy and make it clear that I need everyone to recognize I'm working in this space right now, please don't come up and visit that kind of thing, then I just take them down and it kind of looks like a hospital room. And then I have a couple of things up here and I also have a similar setup right here to just put up things, memorabilia from my subscribers. Before, I would put those items with my journaling stuff and I've journaled with them, but then I started, you know, I just felt like, oh, I should display them. So I put the green one up there and so there are some items. And so one of my Patreon tiers gets stationary packets every month. And so this is just the container that I use to put everything in before I take it to the post office. And I have envelopes and some things there. And then here I have some plastic drawers, a couple of sets of them that I got from Goodwill at different points in time. And then I put the items that I know that I want to give away or not give away, but give to those Patreon members and those drawers and then in this cabinet which has been in different places in my house before I got it from Goodwill it's really got a lot of room in there it used to be in my kitchen it holds all of the giveaway materials for my Facebook group organized planner chic crew and then behind there I just wanted to have at least one live plant in this area so I've got it here on top of another planner that I cover with some contact paper this is actually a little Dollar Tree frog and then I have some command clips so that it can help it go along and grow and then spread around the room. And then behind that I decided I wanted to add some yellow to the room because just the pink and green and yellow really pop together. So I got that planter from Dollar Tree that's at the bottom. It's just helping me give this little container some height which I got from the 99 cent only store and it's just holding some of my tape the tape that I grab all the time because the rest of the tape is down in this cabinet here well not all of it but all of except for the um duct tape 
So I have a couple of craft carts in this space which were essential when my craft room got smaller and this entire cart is dedicated to journaling and junk journaling except I will use these highlighters for all different purposes here in this first bin and I got the cart in this beautiful color from Michaels but these little containers that are holding the pens and markers they came from Ikea and then the containers here the clear big ones came from the 99 cent only store this two of those those two pink containers came from Dollar Tree so did that binder a long time ago back when you could find them actually I might have gotten that from Goodwill and then I've just got some inexpensive Dollar Tree binders or thrift stick binders some other little containers those clear containers from Dollar Tree the pink and orange ones down there also from Dollar Tree and then behind the plan or rather in front I guess it would be is my television that I listen to movies and YouTube and all that while I work but what I have thrown on top of it is just a throw and then down here I've got this little foot pad foot rest that I got from Goodwill a long time ago I love 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 it and then here I have two lamps that I use daylight bulbs in for filming overhead and just occasionally will I use the little ones that are right here and these came from Walmart and they were only like less than $12 actually a piece who knows how much stuff costs now though y'all that was a while ago and then from this view you can see my desk and we'll come around to the other side so you can see a little bit more about that but here you'll see this blanket in the front is just so beautiful with the pink and green and yellow which kind of inspired me to add yellow to this space and I got it from a thrift store for five bucks now we're on the other side of the television and what I have instead of a frame TV is I put a piece of art that my son made for me some years ago and it is beautiful I love it it's a depiction of Oklahoma and Oklahoma City where I moved from before I came to Arizona and then here we've got my little angled desktop which I made and then I've just got a cutting mat on top of it and then just my Dollar Tree traveler's notebook that I'm currently using to the left of that I have a couple of Dollar Tree containers you saw these on the wall as well and this is basically my inbox it holds everything that I'm supposed to be working on today plus my business bullet journal and then here I have a couple of or four other containers from Dollar Tree and so here I have the clips for whenever I need to hold something open that I'm working on I have the black pins that I grab all the time and a couple of other ones that I grab not as often but really often just some washi samples some little clothes pins from whenever I might want to have something decorative a pencil sharpener an eraser a correction pin and a little bit more washing and then here is the chair from the back which I love this chair at first it was a little difficult for me to adjust it but now I'm really used to it for moving it up and down and it's got a pink seat but it's a light pink so it looks dirty pretty quickly so I decided I'd put something on it <laughs> like this blanket and then I got this beautiful yellow pillow from um, Goodwill just recently and I think it just adds the perfect pop of color to the space and then here to the right of it I have this that I also got from Goodwill y'all it was like a few bucks and y'all know these are expensive at um, Michael's and wherever else you might get them from I have a glass cutting board in case I need it right there of course all kinds of tools inside of that and then I have my laptop and on top of it I've got everything for using that and then of course the remote for my TV now I also have some things underneath my desk here and so I have a container right here that I keep my subscriptions in including mine with my patreon uh, account and then one that I subscribe to right now which is stick to and then um, some little containers for dividing some of those up and then I have this container uh, with two drawers actually came with three and I'll show you what I'm doing with the third one in a moment and then I have stickers separated here I have them separated by books there and then I have them separated by categories down here 
And then here I've got a couple of paper trimmers down there. And so for my desk, I put two Walmart brown adjustable tables together that I had already had. And then I covered them when I first set up this craft room with some contact paper. And so then on top of that, I have this little container that rotates and I got that from Goodwill as well for $3.49 and it's got some of my tools that I use all the time and then next to that or behind that I have these boxes that were for a subscription that my mom had with our sorority that makes it easier for me to pull them away from the window whenever I need to close or open the curtains instead of having to move a bunch of individual stuff around and here this is just a Dollar Tree shoe box and inside I've got all my stamps and all of my stencils plus a traveler's notebook that I use regularly that won't fit down here with these other ones and then these are ones that I use very often so they're there and then next to that I've got my crayons and also all of my uh, pastels and then next to that I've got these sets of containers all of them came from Dollar Tree except for these two right here are white you can't see them because there's so many pins in them but yeah I just put them together and taped them together um, from Dollar Tree and they hold a bunch of pins and other little things and then I keep my glass that I'm drinking out of right there and then here I've got another little container that I sometimes use when I'm doing plan with me's and so I put some pins black pins in there right now this container used to have something that was for the freezer and then it's so pretty and white and a really strong plastic and I was like oh I can just reuse that so I use that sometimes when I'm transporting some of these pins or markers to another area like in the living room or dining room I'll just throw them all in there and then this is just a little basket from Dollar Tree and inside that I've got a bunch of binder clips because you know sometimes I need those for DIY projects. I've got my little swan tape dispenser from Dollar Tree and then I've got a container that I just covered with white paper because it was blue to be my little desk trash can and under that I've got this container that I made and I also made this container too this sort of box thing out of framers quality foam board t-pins and black masking tape and i did the same thing here and then underneath there i have this bag from dollar tree with the pink and yellow and it's got all of my pin cases and then under that i have one of my go bags and then i've got a tiny go bag behind it and a little thing of mini color pencils for on the go as well and then next to that, I've got these plastic drawers that are all yarn and embroidery thread and also a couple of Dollar Tree pom-pom makers that I have not actually used yet, but I will be. And then to the right of that, I've got a couple of Dollar Tree containers. And inside that, I have a Pioneer Woman container that has papers and things that I need to sort out and receipts, that kind of thing. Okay, planner babes, the company Asoko reached out to me. They sent me a set of LED under the cabinet lights. Each set is rechargeable, magnetic, dimmable, and has five color light options that you can switch to and from, and they are equipped with motion sensors. Cool, right? <laughs> They have a really nice sleek design, a nice neutral white, and they come two in a package. And each individual light has its own USB cord. Now y'all know, a lot of times companies try to <laughs> be cheap on that, and then they have some magnetic strips that I'll show you how they work here in just a moment and each one is equipped with those as well and also this company will give you your money back or give you a new product and you don't have to return the bad one if you have any issues with it whatsoever and now this is how the magnets work so you've got a 3m strip on the back you've got a magnet that or a magnet on the light itself and then that strip has metal on the other end and you'll see it makes it so easy to swap this out to 
charge it, move it, what have you. And now I really appreciate how the sticker here on the tab has a little part sticking up that makes it easy for you to remove it. It's the little things, right? So then you just decide where it needs to go and you can pop it in and out on the magnets. Here there's a little fingerprint looking thing right there that you press to change the lights. And here you can see how there's just a slight difference. I feel like that one that kind of has a peachy color, I think you'll see it again here in a moment, it has the most difference. Otherwise, it's kind of different shades of white, maybe just a tiny little bit of blue, or it's that kind of peachy cream color. And then this is what it looks like at night. This is in the kitchen with all the lights off and it's giving lots of bright color. And there it is just up closer, you can see a little bit better. And then I didn't really have a place in my craft room that was smooth underneath, so I put it kind of on the side and then I covered it with the towel. And you'll see as we continue through the video how that worked out and how it benefited. It really did. And this drawer has mostly accessories for whenever I film, that kind of thing. And then here are all the little things that I use whenever I'm not just using the normal backgrounds for when I take photos. And then down here, I've got a bunch of electronic accessories, including two portable hard, or three portable hard drives, and then extra chargers and extra cords. And up here above the curtains, I have some of my original art, a picture of me singing the national anthem at a Colorado Rockies baseball game, a certificate for me completing PTSD therapy through the VA, certificate for completing Air Command and Staff College through Air University when I worked as a civilian for the Air Force, my master's degree diploma, my bachelor's degree diploma, and then I have handing up here, hanging up here a couple of rulers, including one I got at the Grand Canyon, which I love it. And then I have just a few things hanging right here, some little doodads from Dollar Tree, a couple of color wheels. And then I have my professional tripod here, which is a Vanguard. And then I know it's dark right here. Let's turn on my new lamp. Now you can see a little bit better. I have a microphone set there, my tripod. I have another tripod behind that one, and a couple little filming accessories there, and a clipboard for my live streams. And then under there, I have some, a bunch of extra glue and inks and embossing powders. Oh, I turned the light off, sorry. Ink pads and glitter. And then my printer is under that white towel. I just Wanted to have my more white back then, but maybe I'll take it off now so I can have a little bit more black to ground the space. But And then I have some stuffing for making pillows and that kind of thing under there. And then here I have a bunch of stuff for traveler's notebooks. I have three different size sizes divided up for inserts, which I have a ton of them there. And those containers all came from Dollar Tree. I have in this container some pins and or paper clips i think it's mostly paper clips but also some charms and things that i've made and ones i'm working on and then here i've got different bookmarks that i've made and pom-pom dangle things right here for traveler's notebooks and under there i've got craft folders and under that i have dashboards that i've made and then next to that, just hanging on one of the poles or a couple of the poles, I've got duct tape tied up with some yarn. And then just a friend of mine who lives in my community made these and it just fits perfectly in my craft room. And then here I've got some trays I got from Dollar Tree and they're divided up. I have like some laminating sheets. I have some grid paper, some cardstock, some printer paper, and then this little thing right here is just something I'm putting together for my grandkids for whenever they want to do arts and crafts. And then I've got some other filming accessories just up here on the wall. And then up here I've got some bigger filming accessories in that Minolta bag and then another bag above that. And then I have some things that I don't use as much up here hanging on these 
things that I got from the 99 cent only store these um, shelf shelving units and so up there I've got some foam board I actually save and dry out the seeds from avocados and sometimes I try to make some art with them so that's in a container there on the top left and then under that I've got a bunch of pencil sharpeners and some pencil lead refills and then under that I have a fake plant hanging just because I wanted to have some more greenery back here. So I have one right there and I have one right here. But I had some real plants hanging up there and the way it's set up on under the attic space or whatever the space up there, it, it's not strong and they came down crashing with the water and all that stuff. So I just have some fake ones hanging up back here. And then this my daughter made the same time that my son made the artwork on canvas with Oklahoma on it. She made that and then that became my logo. Yeah. And then in these glass jars back here, I have drawing pencils. I have two jars back there. And in the jars, I have just some fake flowers from Dollar Tree because it would just add some pretty pink color. And then a little pink tambourine from one of my events for my sorority. And this little set of trays or baskets came from Dollar Tree and I have a bunch of glue in there and then like I said all the extra glue is way down here because I have a lot of glue yeah and then here I also made this with some uh, framers quality foam board and t-pins and black masking tape and it's holding almost all of my colored pencils but the all, most of the Prismacolor ones are still in the Prismacolor tray there. And then here I've got some um, professional also grade color watercolor pencils by Derwent. And it's just a longer tray there. And then I've got this little case for sketching to putting all your sketching tools in. I have another set of color pencils for skin tones there from Crayola. And then up here on the ceiling, I have a set of Dollar Tree mirrors. I wanted some more black, so I decided to keep them. And then here I just nailed on some fabric because I wanted to be able to change it out. And I'm kind of still working through that process of how I might do that. But I just got this at the 99 cent only store for like $2.99. And I thought that would be a nice pop of color. I've got a Dollar Tree hook there with some wrapping paper and then hanging on it is my thing that I made out of Dollar Tree shower caddies to hold all of my ribbon and then I have some of my original art all hanging in here I have not changed it out since the last time you guys saw it of course the door looks different but the art is still there and this was somewhere else but one of my friends um patreon members and youtube uh, supporters there uh Etta sent me that I love it it's so me and she also sent me this one also and then the one that was in my basket for whenever I send my patreon member stuff in the mail she made that as well and then also hanging on the doorknob I have this pretty pink and green backpack and I have a little Dollar Tree scarf tied around there and then this I also made using Dollar Tree products this wreath it was on the door but now that the colors and my office has some yellow it just works so well I think and then this is my washi tape wall y'all and I just used some Dollar Tree cooling racks and some thumbtacks and then you know these little flowers that you see any kind of stickers you see wall stickers in this video they are from Dollar Tree and then I just took some zip ties and Dollar Tree and Walmart white baskets and put those up on there and then I used ribbon to tie in washi tape and this goes back here I, hope, I know this plant is kind of in the way but there's some back there also and then I just tie them up there and then the ones that didn't fit to be tied in are all in these baskets so like you can see some right there a little bit yeah and then under that I have some Dollar Tree hooks I just take some pliers for also from Dollar Tree and straighten them out so that I can use this over the door hanging thing 
on the wall and then I have hanging from there of course I've got some contact paper here I have some contact paper in the closet also I do have other things in the closet behind this door but nothing's changed since the last video really that I did I did a live stream showing what I have back there and so here I have hanging some Dollar Tree vinyl yeah and I really like how that worked out hanging that there and then here I my friend and I organize my paper scraps and paper pads so paper pads are in that basket down there and then the bigger scraps are down there and then all of the rest of the paper scraps and stationery are all in this rolling cart and then white Dollar Tree containers are in here and this piece of artwork behind the plant I created, I have a Dollar Tree brush container holder thing holding some watercolor brushes. And then behind that in that wrap, that canvas wrap is holding uh, my acrylic brushes. And then I've just got some other painting brushes and things and tools there, spray paint. And then I've got a different, bunch of different acrylic paints under there sorted by color and Dollar Tree containers. I've got some gouache right there and then I've got all watercolor stuff here watercolor tins watercolor paints watercolor tubes and then I just got this goodwill vase and decided to put some yellow flowers to bring out some more yellow in here I actually labeled these so I have Bible study celebrate recovery in Spanish prayer and then here I've got bullet journals and then I've got more bullet journals. And then at the very bottom, I've got junk journal, or actually, yeah, junk journals and then travel journals. And then here at the top section of that, I've got paper clips and I've got grommets. And then I've got some completed inserts and things. And I also have the templates here for making traveler's notebooks. And then I've got A5 inserts because all the smaller inserts were over on the other side of the room. And then here I've got different types of elastic. I've got paper clips again because I think I didn't have any more room on the other side. Wide elastic, narrow elastic. And then this is all envelopes for greeting cards. Down here at the bottom, I've labeled it. I have art journals. And then I have Traveler's Notebook covers. And then finally over here we have this shelf and I got it at a thrift store. I have here, I have boxes of cereal or cereal boxes for whenever I need to craft and make a journal or junk journal or Traveler's Notebook. And then here at the top, this is the drawer that was part of this. Remember this set of drawers down here it only has two, but they come made in three, not two. And so I took the top section and I put it up here. And then the part, the plastic part that it fits into on the top, it actually comes apart. I put it in the closet. And so this is holding all of my big pads for watercolor and mixed media and also holding my all of my canvases. And then here... On this shelf, I have some extra green containers because I really love them and I might need them in the future. And then inside, I got from Family Dollar all of these little containers and they've got little bitty pieces. And so, for instance, these little things, I don't know what you call them. I got a bunch of them from Dollar Tree. And so I have them separated by color. And then these are all smaller pieces of cardboard from cardboard boxes. And then down here, I have all of my sewing stuff. And then at the very bottom, I have all of my journals that are smaller for watercolor and mixed media sketching, etc. Well, before we close today, I want to let you guys know that I am on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic, where I post all of my creative ventures and adventures. I also have two Facebook groups. The one for anyone around the world is called Organized Planner Chic Crew, and the local one is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. Well, that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells that YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. You guys, please take care of your mind, body, and spirit because when one area suffers, they all suffer. 
Please continue to pray for me, and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.